What up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Inside Joe's RV. It's your truly Joe Shelton. A hey, went to the Adventure Bandit 2023 Glamp Out, man, and it was awesome. It was fantastic. It was uh, it's up there at the top RV experience that I've had so far. And uh, there's one thing that I was sort of jealous of at this Glamp Out, and I'm gonna tell you what it is after this. Man, as I was walking around the glamp out and you know just viewing everything, I saw all these decked out golf carts. And man, I was jealous. I was envious. I was like, man, I mean they had them, they had the lift kits, they had the LED lights, they was bumping the blues, bumping RB, hip hop music. And man. I was jealous of that. No, I mean, no, not in a bad way. I was like, man, that's that's a cool little thing, especially when you have a big campsite you want to get around. Now, the e-bikes I have, they're good. and uh, But those golf carts had me jealous. So you know what's coming next. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Found this on Facebook Marketplace. About 30 minutes outside of uh, Nashville. And this is my next project right here. Hey man, it doesn't look good right now. I couldn't, I couldn't roll this to the glamp out, but we are gonna get in here. This is my next series that I'm gonna do. This is probably going to be a 10 part part series of me uh, renovating uh, or restoring this uh, 1995 club car golf cart. I talked them down because I saw a couple of things on here that that are broken and that I know I'm going to I was going to, I'm going to fix and upgrade it anyway. So that really didn't matter with me about that. But uh. It's looking rough right now. So my first thing I'm going to go through is I want to find out. I think he told me this is a 1995 model. I'm going to go through and just trying to get the serial number so I get when I start ordering parts for it. Right. What I, some of the things I know I'm going to do. I got to repair this, repair that little fiberglass right there. Uh, this currently he did tell me from the jump that it didn't have any brakes to date. Brakes almost so I had to get in there and uh, get the brakes looked at or replaced. The obvious, the seat. Uh, I'm gonna read a post of that seat, these right here. Um, this right here, it looks like it was for uh, golfers. And I'm gonna take this off and put another seat back here. So again, you ride four people. And I'm going to research. I think I can do that with this. You take this whole bracket out and make this. It's a seat that goes back. There's a kit that comes with that that you could buy that you can make the seat back seat for that. But of course, the top looks like you've got a bunch of zip ties up here trying to make it look. You see how it's all sort of just rotted away. Somebody tried to fix that. There's a kit for that. I might try to restore this and uh fresh clean it up paint it we'll get into it we'll see um see that right there they try to zip tie that uh looks like a tie rod or something they try to zip tie that together so that's not done so i i saw that wasn't really worried about it because i'm gonna get i'm gonna do a lift kit on it anyway wasn't a big deal shocks uh tires look all right might be just be cleaned up but i might i'll research um some new tires uh the body part of course i'm gonna clean it up this section 
and all this section right here. I'm gonna clean it up. I want to explore getting it painted by this like a little local car shop to where it really looks good. But at the end of the day, I've seen several people on YouTube, they just, you know, once you clean it up, sand it down, fix that fiberglass part up there. And uh, some people they just you one guy spray painting looks looks pretty good. So that's an option. Uh got these three batteries in here I'm about to go in and uh you see all that is real dusty and dirty so I'm gonna go in and clean all that but like they just got some stuff in here to keep those batteries uh tied down but I'm gonna get a little more secure way to get that clean all that up all those wire connections probably got to replace you see that right here it's come off I just got to touch it on that to get it working I'll replace all of these uh, connecting cables, uh, clean up that, that's, uh, clean all those things up. There's some people who replace this, I think it's a coil thing, they replace it with a controller. I don't know if I'm going to do all that, but that's an option, as long as the RV is, I mean, as long as this, this goes forward and go reverse, I'm good. The motor seems cool, it's back up in there. So I'm gonna strip all this down, clean it up real good. Uh, other things, um, of course, uh, I would like to put a, uh, a battery volt meter thing so I can see how much charge is in the battery and possibly like a little USB charger and uh, maybe a little Bluetooth audio system. I might uh, put some lights up here or I might put a light bar right here. It looks like it might be easy. A light bar right there. And like I said, the most important thing is that lift kit. Lift kit is gonna raise it probably six inches and then uh, you can get bigger tires for that. I'm gonna, I'll research that. So um, those are the main things I'm thinking about doing to this thing.